Check. 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 Hey, I'm Jeff. Uh, I uh, read and recite poetry sometimes. Uh, that's what I'm going to do for you tonight. Uh, how many of you guys were at the last house show? All right, how many of you guys, let's make the same kind of noise if you weren't at the last house show. Tight. So I'm going to go through the spiel because a lot of you don't know. Uh, uh, sometimes at a rock and roll show when you do poetry, it's weird and people are fucking weirded out, especially white dudes. They're, <laughs> they're like, I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like you're attacking my sexuality by making me feel things and giving me chill bumps and I don't like it. So, that's okay if you feel that way. A lot of us have felt that way before. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do after a poem at a rock show. You can snap your fingers. Yep, some of you have been here before, you know. It's important that I tell people, otherwise I'll just be like, I'm not gay. Which is fine if you're not, but if you think that it's bad, then fuck off. But um, you can snap your fingers. You can clap at the end of a poem if you want. Like you can, you can clap. You can say, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. If you don't like it, you can fuck right off. Because uh, your boy doesn't need that kind of negativity in his life. Uh, I'm going to read some poems first, and then I'm going to recite some poems, and then I'm going to read some more, and then the band Zeta is going to play. How many of you have seen Zeta before? Make some noise. How many of you have not seen Zeta? Make the same kind of noise. Holy shit, guys. You have fucked up and come into the place where you're about to see the best shit you've ever fucking seen. You're like, damn, I'm going to this show. It's going to be cool. I'm hanging out. I'm going to go to the show. I'm going to look cool. Oh, my God. This band from Venezuela played, and they blew my fucking mind. That's what it's, that's what it's about to happen. Best band I've ever seen. Say it right now on record. Cool. These are some poems. It's a poem called Run. Small town like a gravestone. From this decay, I've grown up and out like a tree reaching for light. Flight was the plan. Get out while I still can and don't come back for longer than a weekend. Lest I might move back in with the folks. Just to save money, right? Jump cut to calling my high school flame honey and... Screaming inside my brain about how I used to worship the rain, but now I worship a sixer of natty ice and talk about football with the boys. When did I become what I used to make fun of? This place scares me in a comfortable sort of way. Like grab up this earth and pull it around me like a blanket. I start smoking again because pff, why not? Like if I stay too long, I'm going to stay too long. Like I'm going to start requesting songs on the radio and lean right. Like if I hear the bullshit enough, I'll breathe it in. And then I'll make friends with everyone that I swore that I was going to leave behind. Jump cut to divorce. And this town ain't big enough for the both of us. But of course we stay. Because we're rooted, stuck tight, both feet in this grave. Save the sentiment for later on in the bottle. Puzzle out how I got here, bought out the plans I laid and the choices I've made and claimed that I had to stay, claimed that I wanted to, that it had to be done. Jump cut to the most important piece of advice I will ever give to my daughter, run. Bing. I totally forgot to set up my triangle, which is an integral part of my poetry set. So imagine that this is a triangle. Imagine that this is a triangle. Yep, there it is. Imagine that this is a triangle. God damn it, Dan. I don't know what he said, but I swear to God I heard, shh, white zombie. Shh, white zombie. 
Oh, man. Last time I was like, yeah, I'll go first, it's fine. This time I was like, yeah, I'll go third, it's fine. I'm real drunk. <laughs> no, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is a song, uh, this is not a song. This is a, po this is a poem called W-W-Y-D. Spiral like a spinning snowflake. Take what you will from the ride, but realize that time, while constructed, has become and is. Quiz yourself on where you want to be and where you are. Are you forgetting what you were meant to be? Be honest and firm and learn and lean into your wish. Upon a brilliant burning ball of gas that has no capacity to hold up your hopes, turn you and everyone you ever loved to ash. Don't touch, just look, but not for too long. Because fine print says this star will blind you. So bright like the ball of light on a cold night that was born above your barn when your three-part heart was lost and needed to be guided back to your savior of the entire race of you. No room in the end. No room in the end. It's true. What will you do? It's not as good as a triangle, if I'm honest. This is a poem called Doctor's Note. Shut up! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Dan! I'm doing a fucking show! Fuck! Fuck! Alright. <laughs> I haven't seen these friends in a long time and we got drunk before the show, I'm sorry. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sorry at all. I don't give a fuck what you think. This is a poem called Doctor's Note. Is writing writing wrongs wrung out of boredom and self-examination? <laughs> Christy, choke him out. That's a real partner. When your partner will choke a motherfucker out, this is, this is love. This is, love. This is real love. Just go to sleep. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Fuck him up. <laughs> Fuck that mother. <laughs> Fuck him up. All right. Yo, I don't know who you are, but someone's snorting. I hear you. I hear, it's okay. It's all right. I hear you. It's fine. You, this is a safe space. This is probably the safest space in Valdosta, if I'm honest. Can we get a can we get an amen for that? Alan got the fucking cables taped down and shit. Like you can't trip. Like earplugs and shit. Yep, that's right. I don't know what you said. All right. All right, this is a poem called uh, Doctor's Note. I started it. I'm going to start over. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> is writing writing wrongs wrung out of boredom and self-examination? Patient exhibits bouts of severe self-loathing, followed by a need to eat every french fry in three miles. File says he's obsessed with being listened to, but worries about what to say. That he apologizes for things that are not his fault and has trouble apologizing for things that are. He wants to go far, but he's scared to leave home. Patient exhibits extreme mood swings, followed by the need to burrow under a bedding made of dirty clothes and sleep for days. Patient tests positive for NyQuil and stress headaches. Patient exhibits impatience. He's getting ready to end this run on thought because he wants to be where the next one is. This one is already decaying and the lights are going out. Patient has decided to reroute and write a poem about his dog. This is called Haiku About My Dog. Uh, it's a haiku about my dog. Biebs hides from the storm. Sometimes he is sick with fear. He's his father's son. Hey, there's a band playing after me called Zeta. They're from Venezuela originally. Um, and I wrote a poem a while ago about some bullshit that was happening to them. And I, 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 they're really close friends of mine. And I wrote this poem and I never performed it anywhere. Um, 
but I had to put it on paper, and they're here tonight, so I'm going to perform it tonight. So no one has ever heard this ever except my dog and my one-and-a-half-year-old daughter. Her name is Maggie. Uh, this is a poem called Extinct. We are all part of the same glory. We're all part of the same story. Some of us just don't know it yet. And some of us have forgotten. And some of us are too blind to see the writing on this big fucking dumb wall. But that's okay. Because we're going to translate it into Braille so y'all motherfuckers can read between the invisible lines between us and them. Between him and her. Border agents keeping perpetrators out of our hearts and off our minds. Find a fucking clue. Because the future, this future, our future, has no place in it for dinosaurs like you. Wow. Hey, thanks. Um, Zeta means a whole fucking bunch to me. They're, they're more than friends. They're, they're part of my family. They were there when my daughter took her first steps. Yay! Woo! Woo! All of them but Danny. I love every one of them but Danny. I like all those dudes except Danny. They're all real good except Danny. If you were at the last show, you heard this. I'm going to do it again because I like it. Happy Easter! At least there's gonna be candy. Can we agree that maybe we shouldn't put all of our beautifully dyed boiled eggs into one basket based on a book written exclusively by he's? You know, women wrote books for the Bible too, but we kicked them out. Mary Magdalene, she wrote a gospel. It's something you don't really hear about, but See, it made the man look too much like a man and less like a god. So they gave her the nod and they called her a prostitute. And so what if she was? Does that make her truth tattered? Does that make her spirit flatter? See, strong women terrify weak men. <laughs> Somebody was like, yup. And those same men, they created this thing called spin. So we remember her as a whore. But damn, even if she was, she was so much more. Possibly the mother of Jesus Christ's babies. Definitely the mother of possibility. What I'm trying to say is like, if a man can walk on water, if he can turn it to wine, maybe, just maybe, a rabbit can lay eggs. Hey, that's an Easter poem. Dad, bro? Dad, bro? Who said it? That's right. I forgot to write it in my set list, and my partner Christy was like, "You better do bad, bro," because I always say that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop doing it when it's not relevant, and I wake up every day, and it's still fucking relevant. So we're gonna do it. It's not cool. It's not happy. So stop smiling, Dan. I can't stop. He won't stop. Hey, this is a poem called "Dad, Bro," because my partner Christy was like, "Do it," and I, I'm gonna fucking do it. Big dicks are most important. Big engines are signs of courage. <laughs> they were like, damn. <laughs> wow. 
Big dicks are most important. Big engines are signs of courage. Money makes me more of a man. See, my dad, he established my own brand. Patriarchy? What's that word? <laughs> she was asking for it. Not guilty verdict. I get off, I got off. I get off, I got off. I get off, I got off. I get off, I get off. Brock Turner is free. Brock Turner spent three months in prison after raping a woman behind a dumpster. Three months in prison because he's super fucking rich and he's white. That happened in our country. He's free today. It's important. Um, I grew up in a family full of women. One mom, two sisters, two grandmothers, three aunts, <laughs> and a whole lot of cousins. There's dozens of them, all female. Making a living kept my dad away and my mother had to work every single day. So we stayed with my granny and we watched VHS's back to back, and she would always fast forward through that part in Fried Green Tomatoes when all the women straddle mirrors. It was a mystery to me, but as I grew, it became clearer. There were things in this life that she did not want me to know. She wouldn't let me cup, make my own sandwiches for fear that I would cut myself with a butter knife. She wasn't wrong, because even at that early point in my life, there were skips in the song. You see, a skip is a thing that happens when the CD is scratched or dirty. You see, dirty is a thing that happens when the door isn't latched like it's supposed to be. I grew up thinking that men were monsters, and not a single woman in my life taught me that. I learned it by constant repetition. Kill yourself, you fat fuck. Nice tits. You know, locker room talk. You know, boys will be boys. You know, boys will be men. Eventually, I'm going to be a man. Fuck, I don't want to be a monster. Why? If that's the case, am I still alive? I don't have an ending for this poem. I don't have a fucking ending for this poem. My mama, she held me every single night while I cried and cried and cried and she never asked why. I never once told her that I want to fucking die. But she always told me that it was going to be all right. My mother gave me life. My mother saved my life. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening to that. I'm going to read a poem, and then I'm going to be out of your hair, and Zeta's going to play. Um, I've been reading a lot of stuff recently from people on Facebook talking about how uh, they don't want to wake up and how they, uh, they're upset and they don't, they don't want to do this anymore. And so if, if you need to hear this, then this is for you. It's called An Open Letter to You. I'm so fucking glad that I can still hear your voice. Maybe I took it for granted. And Jesus Christ, if I did, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't around when I should have been. And I'm sorry that I didn't notice what kind of shape you were in. You see, sadness like smoke settles slowly and silently. And it can kill. It scares me to death that one can stop the clock from ticking just by swallowing a pill. 
When I talked to you, I cried like a kid. And I called my mom and I fucking prayed to God. I don't even believe in God. Not even a little bit. But I spoke and I cried and I begged him or her or it or whatever to help. A blasphemy coming from a non-believer like me. But fuck it. At this point, I will call in all the favors. I will run down all the roads if it keeps you on this planet. I will sing that verse from Don't Take the Girl by Tim McGraw every day for a year if it will help. Take my money, take my wallet, take my credit card. Here's the watch that my grandpa gave me. Here's the key to my car, Mr. Give it a whirl. Every year, for every day, for a fucking year, if it'll keep you on this planet. Please don't take yourself away from this place. On my knees, in broken glass, swearing on a stack of Bibles, I promise to be a better friend. I care, and don't you dare forget it. Don't you dare ever think that you're alone with no one to turn to. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Hey, thanks. I'm Jeff.